I have a lot of clients in the city of Brentwood, which is a city in East Contra Costa County, right near Mount Diablo. And a couple of weeks ago, they were evacuated because of the Clayton Marsh fire. And I had a client call me in a panic and she said, Stephanie, I can't find my estate planning binder. I am so mad at myself. I could kick myself for not knowing where they are. And I called her back and said, don't worry, evacuate, take everything that you love, all the people and things you really care about, and we'll deal with the estate documents later. Because I knew that I had an electronic copy of her documents, which, while not as good as having the originals, having an electronic copy is really nice to have. So people ask me all the time, okay, well, where, where should I keep my documents? Where do you keep them? Should I keep them at the bank in a safety deposit box? Even though we are all feeling threatened by fires, there is still a bigger chance you're going to need the documents in a hurry at Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. on a three-day weekend than your house is going to burn down. So I am not a big fan of storing the originals at the bank because it's very hard to get to them. I still think you should have them at home with your IRS papers or in a bookshelf, but one, you should know where they are. So in an emergency, you can go and grab them and take them with you. Two, somebody else should know where they are. And I ask all my clients, where do you think you might keep these so that I know where they might be in case someone calls and asks me where they are? Three, if you don't have them in on like a thumb drive or a lot of times clients ask me to send them as attachments to email so they could save them on Dropbox or in the cloud. I'm happy to do that if I'm your lawyer uh, or you should ask the attorney who drafted the documents. If your documents are old, 15, 20 years, lots of people haven't looked at this stuff in a long time, chances are the attorney or the law firm that that drafted them did not keep an electronic copy and all you have are the originals. So you should get those scanned. And maybe what you do at that point is take the thumb drive and put that in a safety deposit box at the bank so there is a backup record. What I find in estate planning is that we all have this idea of how it's going to work, but real life just gets in the way and pages are missing, entire binders can't be found, Lots of stuff like that happens, and if you have a backup somewhere, somehow, that you could access, having a copy, although not as good as an original, is, you know, will work. So, um, I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you very much for watching.